Okay, so you're seeing this and you're probably wondering uh, when Motorola started making laptops and the uh, short answer is they didn't. Uh, a little icon on the desktop is any uh, indication here. It's actually uh, a bit uh, cooler than that. Got uh, my Raspberry Pi in a red case this time. And it's hooked into a, a laptop for a Droid Bionic that I, that I got off of uh, uh, Amazon. Got a wireless mouse as well, and it's uh, using the wireless to connect here. See, there's a the uh, USB adapter is providing power as well as the connection to the laptop, and also there's a little US, a USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter here. And then you have your VGA, which uh, connects here to this uh, mini VGA port on the uh, sorry, not VGA. Good heavens, uh, sorry, HDMI. So they got the HDMI port that connects the uh, the uh, Pi to the laptop here. Oops, it's going to restart. So now we have this uh, this uh, kind of pseudo laptop here, which is actually kind of handy. I mean, it basically uh, allows you to move the the, uh, the Raspberry Pi around and you know do your do your testing wherever you want without without having to hook it up to a power outlet anywhere. Let's see here. Okay, and this is another weird thing about this. Everything about the laptop works for the most part. You got power. Uh, you've got uh, you, the, the sound doesn't work, uh, but the keyboard and mouse does work most of the time, and it actually started acting up just now. I'm going to show you here in a minute here when it finishes booting up. But yeah, when you close it, uh, it reboots, uh, so there's not much you can do about that. Uh, basically, it just kills the power to the uh, the Pi and it restarts. Uh, same goes for if you yank, yank the uh, if you disconnect the the uh, uh, HDMI. Your power gets reset that way as well. We're going to need to do that in a minute here because sometimes when it reboots, it doesn't, uh, the mouse and keyboard don't connect. I I'm not sure what's going on with that. But usually, if you uh, reset it by disconnecting the uh, HDMI connector, it'll, it'll come back. I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about here. But yeah, you have a little indicators on the front to show you power yet. And there we go again. Demonstration of how the how when you disconnect the, v, the HDMI you lose your power. But uh, okay, while well, waiting for it to come back up here, what I can show you here is this. If you push this little button here, you got little lights indicating how much power you got left in this. Uh, for, you know, five dots, uh, I guess representing about 20% each roughly. I've run it for about two or three hours at a time and I've haven't gotten I haven't gotten less than three dots on this, so sounds like we got some pretty good battery life on this. So, you know, decent for a laptop, but you know we're talking about a mini computer really. So I'm going to reconnect the uh, HDMI and that'll, that'll restart the uh, Pi. And this time the mouse should work. That wasn't quite a graceful, re as, uh, graceful restart as I hoped. Though. We'll see what happens in a moment. Yeah, it works now. You can see the mouse moving now. But also, uh, you can notice the keyboard works now as well. And uh, if you look here, there's a little light here. If you tap that little light, it turns the trackpad off. And I can use my little uh, wireless mouse instead here. Got that plugged into a USB port on the back. So I'm going turn that back on again and we're going to select boot and you'll also notice that I'm not just running one operating system on this uh, Raspberry Pi, it's got a multi-boot setup on it. I've got uh, a web server I, I haven't played with yet. I've got we Wheezy, Wheezy Raspberry, and that's the, uh, the default or the, uh, the, uh, the supported operating system that uh, is provided by Raspberry Pi. I've got a memory tester. Open ELEC is basically a uh, kind of a, a modified version of a RASBMC, which is a, a modified version of XBMC to, to run on the uh, Raspberry Pi, which is a media server. And Puppy Alpha, uh, that's a version of Linux also, but basically uh, based off of the, uh, the, the Puppy Linux uh, program, uh, which uh, um, I think it's like uh, based off of uh, uh, Dan Small Linux, I'm not sure, DSL Linux. And then finally we've got uh, Raspberry Razor, and uh, I think that's uh, 
basically a, a modified version of Raspbian in the sense that it has a more uh, uh, KDE and QT uh, installed with it for the uh, the uh, window manager. But anyway, and again, I haven't played with all these yet. I pretty much just play with the Wheezy, that the, the Wheezy, the, the Debian, uh, the Raspbian operating system. I'm going to fire this up here by selecting boot. Just looking at the lights there. Now, the one problem I have with uh, Raspbian is it's fine if you want to try and compile something and try something out, but this is really like the same specs as a computer you might have had like a decade ago. Um, talking about like a 512 megabytes of RAM, you know, 700 megahertz processor, you can which you can actually overclock to about almost a gig if you have uh, if you have the right uh, setup. And in this case, I've got a 32 gig uh, uh, SD card which uses as a hard drive. So yeah, if you think back, you know. 10, 11 years ago, this is probably exactly what you had for a computer back then. That would be state-of-the-art. But now, uh, you try and run a web browser on it, and it feels like a slideshow. So, uh, basically, uh, you know, it's fun. This is a fun toy to have. It's kind of fun to, you know, pretend like it's a laptop and all. But, you know, really, this Raspberry Pi, you use it for the tool that it's really meant to be. It's an educational tool. Possibly use as a thin client where you can actually connect to a, a faster computer, and it's really just acting as a screen for a computer connecting remotely to. Which is actually an idea I want to play with later on. But uh, here we go. I'm going to show you what, actually what I mean here. Let's go ahead and open up the door here, which is the web browser, the default web browser. And I haven't really installed too much on this yet. I just I just got this laptop. Uh, well, I had the laptop for a while, but I was actually waiting for the, uh, the connectors to come in. Um, you have to get these special special connectors that work with the uh, the the, uh, the dock here. When I finish loading up Midori, I'll show what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's uh, go to Google.com. And like I said, the sound doesn't work yet, so. There's a way to get that working. I just have to play around with that, and I'll 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 post some notes on that if I get that working. I'll show you. I'll give you an update on how to get that uh, resolved. Okay, we can go to YouTube as well. You can see how painful it is to load up a video here. Okay, and I'm just going to search for my channel. When it finishes loading. <laughs> there you go. And he's still, he's still trying to load the banner ad up on the top here. So yeah, it's really painful. Okay. So just search for my channel. And let's even find a shorter video here.
uh, yeah. Now, I haven't really tried to overclock this at all. I, I think I, I might do that. I've got the nice cooler on this case. This case is a pretty nice uh, heat sink here. I, I think I could afford to do that without really hurting the device. But so far, I'm just running it stock. Okay. And uh, let's see, it's been about uh, a couple of minutes now, <laughs> just getting to this point. It's a video. At Joe's Crab Shack or eat at Joe's, wherever they call that place. And it's a lot of flies trying to get at our food and uh, this little wizard came to help out. Yeah, that's not really usable. <laughs> And you see the pie is maxed out. It's pretty much maxed out whatever you do as far as uh, anything graphics based. Yeah, not quite what I hoped, especially with no sound. It's not really too helpful. Okay, let me stop that. And uh, I'm going to shut down the Pi. Give it a second or two to catch up. Another concern of mine is that this battery gets really, really hot. Now, I understand that it's made to uh, originally for a cell phone, uh, in this case a Droid Bionic, and it wasn't supposed to be like drawing as much power as, it, as, it, as it's doing right now to, to power this Pi. So, that's probably why it's a lot hotter than you expect. Well, it is why. But anyway, now it's shutting down. Let's see if we can go out. I'll disconnect the HDMI. And again, this is a laptop for a Droid Bionic. And uh, you can see I have uh, the, the wireless mouse adapter there for my, uh, my Logitech uh, trackball. And uh, on the Pi itself, got in a micro USB, uh, sorry, this is like the, yeah, the micro USB. Uh, male to female adapter, and as well as a uh, micro USB. Uh, oops, wow, sorry, completely missed you there. Uh, micro USB uh, female to uh, USB male adapter. You can get those at Amazon. If you look up Raspberry Pi, you can find a lot of this stuff, especially if you're looking for the laptop as well. I'll post links for that if you want it. 
Uh, same goes for the uh, the uh, HDMI. And uh, again, uh, micro uh, micro HDMI, male to female. And same goes to the adapter. We've got a micro HDMI female to a HDMI uh, male adapter. And I got those at eBay. Um, it's like about twenty twenty five dollars total. So the really painful part about this, and why it took me so long to get the, the all this equip uh, all this working, was um, the. Let me get this put in there. Oh, this wrong one, wrong end. The uh, the uh, the smaller adapters that were being shipped from China. It took like almost a month to get here. Cables came right away. The lap dock I got within about a week, and it just sat there in a box uh, while I wait for everything else to come in. And I already told you about the cases where I got these. Um, uh, again, from a uh, uh, it's a Proto Armor, same of the company again. Get it for you. Yeah, mobile app systems. The case is called Proto Armor. And uh, just to kind of recap what I told you in my previous video that the uh, the case itself is just two blocks of aluminum with uh, with heat sinks built in. So basically, uh, instead of having these little these little aluminum uh, I think I would have been more prepared about this again, but yeah. Instead of having these little aluminum heat sinks here, you've got this this big block that's that's cooling the entire device. And uh, yeah, that works a lot better. Uh, keeps it extremely cool. Doesn't overheat at all. Even though it was working, it's, it's, it was maxed out as you saw. The, the, the lap dock itself was getting a lot hotter than the, uh, the, the Pi was. And uh, yeah. Neat little toy. I don't know how practical it is, but uh, there you go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a note and ask. Thanks.